여보. Welcome to a football show here, 2023 NFL Draft Night Edition. As you can tell, there's a lot of beef on the screen right now. This is the unofficial Titans football and other F-words show pod. Mike Herndon, Stoney Keeley, Zach Lyons, of course. Thank you all to Sinkers, by the way, for having a great party here tonight. Uh, if you're here, uh, you would feel the tension in the room. A lot of puckered assholes tonight here. Zach and Stoney and Mike. Uh, I guess, Zach, I'll start with you, buddy. Uh, the Titans are on the clock. Uh, we'll get to make me want to vomit. This is the worst <laughs> possible outcome for the Tennessee Titans. This is going to be a terrible show. And the show. pick is already in. Gonna... And... How are we feeling? How are we feeling, boys? Oh, no. This is not good. This is what happened way too fast. I feel like shit. <laughs> oh, God. So if <laughs> we are here, not good. Sears, of course, uh, and this is the, the tensest room i have ever been in okay so here's what i'm gonna say here's party. what i'm gonna say real quick for the pick is in because i don't know how it's flowing right now but the but the pick is in the titans did not trade up they rescinded their offer when cj stroud was drafted they're not interested in a quarterback i'm holding true it's not gonna be will levis because he's falling out of the fucking first round who's with me is it jackson let's smith and jigba let's go let's go jackson smith and jigba christian come on. gonzalez come on. nobody first, no first of all christian no Christian Gonzalez, Jackson Smith, the big but jig, but both very good options. Yeah. Lots of value. Peter Skaronsky on the board. Well, I was about Just to say it's not Will Levis, right, boys? Okay, so Mike, so Mike, let me ask you a question. Darnell right off the board. Yeah. Peter Skaronsky, how we feeling? If that's the pick. I mean, I'm okay with it. it. It's like neutral to me. I don't love taking a guard that high, but he's gonna be a really good guard. So I'm I'm okay with that if that's the pick. Uh, Broderick Jones also a possibility there, but maybe not that high. We're also yelling. Because also, again, very nervous. I don't think I've made that clear oh, yeah, how yeah. nervous everyone is right now. We may be a little behind. We're on YouTube TV, so just so you know. <laughs> but, Stoney, do you find it weird that the Tennessee Titans picked that quick? No, I mean, JSN's on the board. Will Levis is on the board. Peter Skronsky's on the board. No trade back? Makes that, that makes me nervous. Makes me very nervous that it's Levis. Stoney, you just, you just cut... I, it does. I, I would echo Mike's sentiment, though. It does make me nervous that it is Will Levis because they were so decided. But, you know, to be fair, we don't know. I mean, maybe they just had their mind made up on Jackson Smith and Jigba and, and Christian Gonzalez, and they're elated that one of these people are going to be there. He's always been – those two have always had really high value at 11, especially for positions of need. My, okay, quickly before the, this happens, how surprised, uh, commercial are we, so we got time. how surprised are we that Houston goes up and gets C.J. Stroud? They go back up and get Will Anderson. The Colts draft Anthony Richardson. Uh, how, what's Stoney, we'll start with you. What's How surprised are we that two other teams in the division both have their star quarterbacks in the top five now? Pretty, pretty surprised. Uh, I, I think, you know, the whole draft season we thought – I'm trying to follow the mic here. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> The, the whole draft season, oh, we thought. So <laughs> I'm like Zay Flowers. I have no wingspan. Oh, oh, man. What are we going to do with Zay Flowers? Oh, wait a yeah, Peter Skaronsky. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, so the, the whole draft <laughs> process, we thought that Will Levis was going to be Indianapolis's guy, and then they go Anthony Richardson. I believe your exact words were welcome to hell. I was pretty surprised by that, too, but apparently – you know, the, the the vibes in the room, apparently a lot of Colts, podcasters, bloggers, the people close to the team thought that Richardson was going to be the guy all along. So maybe I was the one that was just out of the loop on that one. Well, first of all, Mike Vrabel, I'm, I'd love to know, outside of their own draft pick, I'd love to know what Mike Vrabel thinks about the quarterbacks he's now going to face four times, six times a year with Trevor Lawrence also, of course, in the mix as well. Again, I cannot describe Zach's motions before we went live. Walking out of this room. Well, I did have to pee for a little bit of it. <laughs> this... In the bathroom, by the way. In yes. the bathroom. Uh, first of all, uh, Sinkers, thank you so much for having us. Uh, East Nashville, Bluegrass, and Hendersonville. Make sure you go up there. Our Kids Center, of course, Our Kids TN is the beneficiary of all this great stuff. Jasper's for the food. The drinks have been flowing. April's the bartender, Joey, and Adam, the guys at Sink Sinkers. We appreciate you guys for having us here. And there's we've got a, a pretty good crowd here. Can, I, again, can you do a I little poll pretty, real quick, if I, that's all right? Yeah, let's. Okay, <laughs> okay. So we got a lot of. Crowd. So go that way. Go, well, you just covered up half the people because you're tall. Well, okay, listen. Very tall. Okay, so here we are. We got a big Wave crowd everybody. here. Wave. Get a big crowd here. Okay. Are we give there? me give me a cheer. Give me a cheer if you're all in on Will Levis at pick 11. 
One guy. One okay, guy. we got to get this guy banned. Get this guy thrown out. Uh, okay. If it's Christian Gonzalez, cornerback from Oregon. Yeah. Okay, all right. Nice. Peter Skaronsky, Northwestern. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. okay, all right. Trade back. It's not happening, yeah. by the way. You idiots, it's not happening. The pick's already in as a trick question. <laughs> you failed. Jackson oh. Smith and Jigba. Yeah, there it is. There it is. So there it is. That's official. That's science. Yeah, that's, that's science. science. That's clearly science. So that means that it'll definitely not be Jackson Smith and Jigba. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boys. All right, again, thanks to Sinkers. Again, Sobros Network, Stony Keeley here. Tell everybody where they can find you. Sobrosnetwork.com. The unofficial Titans podcast. We got... Zach Lyons, stackintheinbox.com, of course. Football other The quarters. world's first Nashville-based horizontal and vertical big board. <laughs> Stole that from Rand. Uh, and where? what about you, Mike? Uh, PaulKarski.com and, of course, on the internet at Mike Herndon NFL. Okay, so right. I think the pick's We're, about to come up. People are we getting nervous. We have four minutes on the clock. People are getting nervous. We've okay, had, well, okay had, here's the vibe. Drinking. Vibe check. Vibe check. Two, drink, two, two hours of drinking. Waiting Amy Adams Shrunk looks very confused. I want it to be here's the, okay. I'm just gonna do the show with you guys. Uh, I don't know about this Jigba guy with the comb over the over on the top. What is going on with his head? Please, please let what it is be that? Jackson Smith and Jigba. That would be exciting. It would bring. I think it would bring 2019, 2020 Tannehill back to life, which is the best case scenario for the Titans at this point. A left guard and a wide receiver are the two positions that instantaneously make this team better in Week One, and if that's what your goal is. Those are the two okay, positions. Okay, let me, let me offer. Okay. And the best one at each position are on the board right now. Let me say this. If it's Peter Skaronsky and they try him at left tackle instead of <laughs> trying him at left guard, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, I'd be pretty mad about that. Yeah. I, I think if it's Skaronsky, you commit to him being left guard. You commit to Dillard being left tackle, and you see what happens. Real quick, Stoney, you love big, meaty men. You love the big meaty man. This is this is the but show. This is the show for you, Peter right? Skaronsky, What's your overall assessment on the big? You know what? Yeah. Listen. Oh uh -oh. wait, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we I go. Hear it. I hear it. Let's see what everybody thinks. The pick is in. It's Will Levis. <laughs> Look at that! Look at this! So, Zach, this is a far A more lot of people love it, Quentin Nelson Jr. This is this celebration okay. that you are watching. This I will say this. That you can hear. Hang on. The, the celebration that you can hear is not for Peter Skaronsky. The celebration that you are seeing and hearing is that it's not Will Levis. That yes. is what you are seeing. All right. Instantaneous reaction. You both are all, you're, all three of you are alive, which yes. is a positive. Because I'm pretty sure we, somebody, we're going to lose hey. one of you tonight if they draft to Will Levis. Is Will Levis going to drop after the first round? <laughs> oh baby we may have to do a special episode if will levis does not get drafted in the first round so needless to say zach's feeling better now because it's okay. not will levis peter, peter skaronsky sound player five-star recruit coming out of high school top 30 player in high school he's not a tackle but he fills a need exactly the way mike grable wants a big 10 a big 10 offensive lineman that plays along the line of scrimmage shocking well i'll i'll say this the titans had conviction right because I mean, it was they got on the clock. Their their pick was in. There was no trade back scenario. There was no obviously they only had one trade up scenario. It was hashtag never love us for the Tennessee Titans, and I am ecstatic because all I was worried about is it was uh, Will Levis. Do I believe that uh, Peter Skaronsky is good? Yes. Is he a game changer for this Tennessee Titans team in 2023? Maybe. But I will pass it off to the meaty man lover, Stoney Keeley, right, to, to make Stoney. sure and tell you what he put on his big board. Well, you know, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be transparent with you guys here. I think there's a little bit of bust potential with Peter Skaronsky. I love it. Hold on. I just have to say I have to love it. I have written that on the internet. It's on the big board. <laughs> if you're a Patreon subscriber, you've read that. But – He's a very polished, fundamentally sound guard prospect. I don't think you try him at tackle. But, um, you know, as if it's not Will Levis, he's the greatest guard of all time. I'm happy with the pick. It's <laughs> Mike, a safe pick. It's a safe pick. <laughs> Mike, again, the two biggest holes on this team are wide receiver one or two, whatever you think Traylon Burke's upside is going to be, and left guard. 
Those are the two biggest holes on the entire 53-man roster. If you were, if Mike Vrabel is on a dry erase board right now, putting all the names on a board, he has a question mark at wide receiver, and he has a question mark at left guard. He filled one of those needs tonight. Yes. Look, I'll say this. I would have preferred Jackson Smith and Jigba because I, simply because I think wide receiver is a better value pick. Now, if you're looking at who's a better left guard versus who's a better wide receiver, I think you can make the argument that Skaronsky's a better left guard than Jason is a wide receiver prospect. But I, I think Skaronsky's going to be really good. I think he's going to be, you know, a Pro Bowl level player. I think he'll be potentially all Pro level player. Um, I think he's going to be. Uh, Just go through it, Mike. Go through it. I think he's going to be for the Titans. And I think. That, it makes the offensive line better. That was their biggest weakness. Uh, you've got Andre Dillard. You've got Peter Skaronsky. You've got either Aaron Brewer or uh, uh, Levin, uh, Corey Levin. And then you've got uh, Brunskill and you've got oh, Nicholas petit Frere. So you've got viable starters at every offensive line position. So, look, it should get a little bit better on the offensive line. The Titans needed to do that. Skaronsky does it. So. It's a safe pick. It's Mike, safe I, pick. I would like to ask you a question because you, you have DeAndre Swift in our fantasy league, correct? I don't, I don't the thing you, did you trade him? About. No, I don't think I've got him. You, you've had him. I because I, him. Okay, well, I think you still have him because I think you kept him as a keeper. But you may want to trade him away because oh. Jameer Gibbs oh. is coming for your ass in so Detroit. I was listening, so I was, listening to a, a, a pod, I was listening to a podcast earlier today uh, hosted by these two jokers. And one of them said Jameer Gibbs is going to be a first-round pick. One of them didn't. I, I agree, though, with the other one that he's not Alvin Kamara. He does Always all the right. Things, he does all the things that Alvin Kamara does. To be clear, I, I didn't say he wouldn't be a first-round pick. I said he should not be a first-round pick. But this is not a what Lions a podcast. <laughs> what a stunner. But it's just a stunner. I mean, like, we got we got covered the draft objectively. That's true. But, so, so, but Brayden, you, you're big in these five-star recruitments, and they turn into these all-pros and all this stuff. My question is, is like, is Peter Skaronsky, for you, did he show enough power on tape against top-level teams that's not power for the Stone run says game? No. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I, so I, but, I, th- I mean, you, you are, no, to I me, the college expert. I think there's questions about that stuff that are viable, that are fair. But I think, first of all, I trust Mike Grable and his staff to develop anybody along line of scrimmage. This either makes me of, very sick, by the way, now, line- that, now that it's not Will Levis <laughs> settled in. Drafting a guard at eleven, I already know yes. what the what the chat's going to be like when I open up the phone. Yeah, it's not very least, good. But at least you're alive and breathing, and that's a positive for the for the. It's audience not Will here, Levis. So. Never Levis. Hashtag I, Never Levis. Listen, here's here's what I like. Put on the shirt. Five star prospects. It's not that they're five star. It's that he came into this. He came into high school. He came into college as one of the best guards, if not the best guard in the entire country. You know how hard it is to pinpoint out of three hundred thousand high school football players that he is the best at his position coming out of high school, and then for him to come into the year his final year in 2022 as the best prospect at his position and then to finish the year as the best prospect at his position is extremely difficult to do. So base your big stats guy, you're big on like this yeah. guy, Bryce Young, statistically anomaly, Hennon Hooker, statistical anomaly, say flowers. There's another mention, but he's not a statistical, statistical anomaly. anomaly if he moves into the left guard spot. No, no. What, what I'm, what I'm saying is that statistically the guys who are clearly the best player at their position as 17 year olds, clearly the best player at their position going into their final year of college after three years of being developed, and then clearly the best position player at his position coming out and evaluate. So literally every group of scouts that gets paid lots of money to evaluate this one human has all agreed on him. Yeah. And I and now we, ha- now we know that Rand Carthon and Mike Vrabel agree on him as well. So to me, Let with me the new this, offensive line coach... It's fucking I'm why down. you should be I'm watching down. a football show <laughs> and everything. Because that is, that is fucking made my loins on fire. Oh, you're feeling good? I'm feeling pretty <laughs> yeah. good about that. And it's like Nicholas petit Frere last year, right? Was a top 15 national recruit coming out, oh. five-star prospect. But, Mike, you hate Nicholas petit Frere. No, he Petit-Pere. did not ma- maintain that. He didn't. I don't hate him. Uh, okay, so we're back up that. bus watch for Peter Skaronsky because he's Nicholas <laughs> he, petit Frere. He, he, MPF was the number one tackle prospect coming out of high school. So I think that clearly matters to them in, in a scouting sense to some yeah. degree. And And – Look, I think Skaronsky's a great scheme fit for them, assuming they're going to keep the outside zone and all that. He's an outstanding athlete. He's going to be much better in pass protection than Aaron Brewer was last year, obviously a left guard. I think he's an instant upgrade, and I think he fits what they want to do offensively. That offensive line is going to be freaky athletic. Like, for for all their faults and for all their questions, 
Dillard's an athlete. Skaronsky's an athlete. Brewer's an athlete. They're all Brunskill's good pass athlete, protectors, right? And NBF is an athlete. They are athletes across the board. So let me ask you. Let me ask you. Well, this I was going to say, let's get Debbie Downer in here because he. He's... Well, no, no, no. <laughs> I want. I want to ask you something because I, I think I think this is a good conversation to have. We, me, and you have talked about this offensive line skewing more to pass protection. We have talked about too, Mike, but. Today it was brought up that like why would you draft Zay Flowers because this is a run heavy team? Do you think that this Titans team is trending towards a run heavy team, or you think they're tr- trending towards a pass heavy team? I-, I think that's the one thing that a lot of Titans fans are sleeping on this uh, this off season is the fact that they're looking at pass protectors, they're looking at smaller wide receivers because they looked at Josh Downs too. There's some interest there. I think the thing that we're not letting it sink in is that this offense could look really different in 2023. I think we've been preaching that. And now you've heard everything that everybody said about Peter Skaronsky. Has that changed your mind about the value of Peter Skaronsky? Because you got to trust the tape. If the, if your tape tells you that he has some flaws, tape tells you he has some flaws, but do you, th- do you feel a little bit better? Cause I kind of do because of Braden but it's like and it's I want I, I want to like Peter Skaronsky. It's not, and it's not that like any of the four of us know exactly what it's going to be. It's more yeah. about like the group think, which always is not necessarily the great thing. Yeah. But like the idea that he has cleared all these hurdles every time. And he was and there at eleven. The box. I mean, we were talking about him not even being there at eleven at some point. So, like, where are your thoughts? The initial shock has worn off now. The emotion has died down. Where are your thoughts on that? I, I think it's a safe pick, and something that Braden said really stuck with me because when I watched the tape, the thing that I didn't see was pop and violence and aggression at the point of his block. And that was the one thing that made me think, like, not soft, but is he a fit culturally for this Titans team? When you hear Mike Vrabel, Rand Carthon talking about getting physical, versatile, violent players – so you, you stop and think about those two facts independently. Your opinion is great. I don't like the Packers pick. You can, you, can, you can say, well, surely they've done their due diligence. They've watched more film than I have. They've met with Peter. Sk- well, no, they didn't meet with Peter Skaronsky, did they? And that we know of, at least. You can, you can trust that they have done their homework and that they feel he can be that kind of guy that maybe, um, you know, a dick joke blogger from Nashville, Tennessee, like myself, did not see on the tape so i don't um i, I think we're all first of all first reaction all very happy it's not just Will hashtag Levis. never love number two fills a need and has cleared a lot of hurdles in terms of his valuation process and I, and obviously people could be listening to this well after rounds two three and four so i don't necessarily need player names but the idea that they fill a need with the second round pick or the first round pick and then the second round pick and the third round pick can now be used on wide receiver corner inside linebacker whatever can, they want can I ask is a question value. real quick what do you all think are the chances that this team drafts or trades back up into the first round for either Will Levis? I was trying to keep I was trying or to keep Hooker, look what he does. But they have now an offensive line that technically can pass block, right? So drafting a quarterback, because that's what everybody said. Well, if you trade up for a quarterback, you can't fucking have a good offensive line that can pass ball. Um so that's exactly like all of the people it is, tweet at me. It yeah. is. So, and Twitter voice. so, do you guys? We'll start with Braden. Do you guys think that this team could still trade up tonight, and you'll be seeing our beautiful faces and my much more drunk face later this evening? Well, because it's forty-one, there's always a possibility. Mm-hmm. Everything in the NFL at all times is on the table. Like I'm convinced, it doesn't matter what it is, it's on the table if it's in the NFL at any moment. Forty-one up to, we've seen teams in the past go from the early second up to the late first to draft quarterback. Lamar Jackson is one of them. We've seen it happen before, so I wouldn't be surprised. I just think that I think that they've watched the tape on Will Levis like everybody else has, and at some point, it's a value, and it's a risky play. I don't think Hennon Hooker is better. I don't think Hennon Hooker is a better prospect. You don't think Hennon Hooker is a better prospect than Will no, Levis? I don't. You, I don't he's not. He doesn't have a better arm. He doesn't have. He's. You've convinced me. On Am the I age. the only one that thinks that? That Hennon Hooker is I the would, better? If here's, here's the real... Here's okay, the real question, okay, Mike. Hold if, on. if Will Levis is available at 41, because again, I wanted to keep the okay. damn podcast evergreen, and now we're getting into No, we're good. We, get, we were happen. getting more viewers right here's now. Here's what I want to know. Here's what, <laughs> here's what I want to know. If Will Levis is on the board at 41, which is not going to happen, no. are you taking Will Levis? Yes, I actually would. I, I 
I agree. I agree, Zach Lyons. I don't I don't love Levis as a prospect, but at 41, I mean, as a value, yes. He 31, is okay, skill. Malik Willis. 31 teams passed he on is, him. No, he is, he is not Malik Willis. He is a much better prospect than Malik Willis. Like, I don't I don't love Willis. Will Levis at 11, clearly. But 41 is a totally different question. Don't do this to me, starting. I don't we, think we, I do. Okay, thank I, you. I don't think I do. I, I, I hope I, I didn't just, guilt you into it. I want you to no, tell no, no, you did I, I just... There are other needs that are more pressing that I would rather see them take a wide receiver, take a tight end. Darnell Washington, a name we haven't mentioned tonight. Um, fill more holes. Fill more holes. Wait. You can get Always a good strategy. Always a good Listen, strategy. Clayton Toon, round five. Round no. five, Clayton Toon. Let's go. All right. Are we done? Okay. <laughs> on that note, we might be done. But can we? Can we? Thompson Robinson is clearly the quarterback. Of but choice. I think we should poll. Professional offense. Can we, can we do another poll? What you got? Okay. We're going to do another poll right here for uh, the live stream right here. Science. Wave, everybody. Would you be happy There's if the Titans guy. traded back up into the first round for Will Levis? No. Would you Science. Be... <laughs> would you be okay Get this with... man out of here. Would you be okay with Will Levis at 41? Same guy. I've got a few. Same guy. <laughs> would you be okay <laughs> with Daniel, trading though. back up for a hidden hooker? In the first round. No. Would you rather have Hidden Hooker or Will Levis? Hidden Hooker? You guys it's are Will, pathetic. Will Levis is a better football player. You're all wonderful. Oh, Thank you for coming. That did not go all how right. I wanted it to go. Sinkers Beverages in East Nashville. Bluegrass in Hendersonville for putting this entire event on in this cool space. If you want to rent it, by the way, reach out to Sinkers. Go into the store. They've got a beautiful layout, beautiful store. Many people are talking about it. Yes. Sign up for the in crowd. You get things like opportunities to come to this. They got lots of special prizes coming this summer. Uh, it's in terms of like some very serious special trips for people that love brown water. So and just pretty much tuned. us don't get to come, I guess. We, we, I well, mean, no, we're what gonna, kind of shit we get, is that? We know people. We'll figure okay. it out. Uh, otherwise, everybody here, Stony, what, where can let's let, tell people. Well, I was going to say something about Tim Dodge and. Uh, oh, that's right. That's D good. Right. So Tim Dodge and D good, we believe. We I think it was D good. That's his birthright. Name. They're both right now having kids at the same time. Two of our audience members wow. are having kids. Wow. Not their wives. Yes, their wives are doing nothing. Tim They're Dodge. just sitting over there. <laughs> Give me the epidural. They're Tim just Dodge, doing nothing. Tim Dodge bought a ticket. He's been listening for a long time. Tim, we love you. He DM'd but me. But these are the first of football show babies, I he guess. D he DM'd me, and he goes, I can't make it tonight because we're going to the hospital to have a baby. I said, you fucking slacker. I think it was D good. Good job, boys. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you to Sinkers. Thank you. to Go check out our kids. If you don't know anything about it, our kids center one of the best clinics of its kind in the entire country. To see you straight up. I'm going to power through this. I'm going to power through this. Sinkers Beverages, Kingston Group, BuildKG.com. We'll be back if the Titans are back on the clock. But otherwise, uh, you, what do you kind of coverage you guys all have going throughout the course of the weekend, Zach? Uh, just stacking the inbox.com. I haven't decided if I'm going to do stuff uh, with Stoney over the weekend who is doing stuff with Broadway. I don't know. It's, it seems like a lot of commitment and all this kind of stuff. I don't know. Uh, maybe yeah, you got you got a second second French bulldog. I got two kids to a podcast. I got two kids. Mike, My wife is leaving at some point. Not me. I was like for, say, that for, like a in perpetuity. <laughs> but uh, she's leaving. At some what, point. Where, what, you, what do you got about the draft coming up? PaulKarski.com. Football on their efforts. Yeah, I'll be writing about whatever the Titans do over the next couple of days for PaulKarski.com, and uh, hopefully writing about some sort of exciting wide receiver at some point. Please, Tyler Scott, third round. Uh, I have actually already written an article here tonight about uh, he's a fucking years, trooper. I 15 tell you, years in a row, an Alabama player has been selected in the first round in the NFL draft. That's up on SobrosNetwork.com. I'm going to be doing uh, Broadway Sports with Easton tomorrow night. I told Easton, like, hey man, I'll go live with you on Saturday too. If I'm not on live with Broadway on Saturday, I'm going to be live on Sobros Network on Saturday. Well, I'll tell you what, everything on Sobros. Do you want to fucking go live on Saturday? Jesus. Let's Zach, fucking do it. This has turned very fast. It went from like super anxious to very happy to sad to happy, and now it's aggressive. Which means I'm going to set up a, a living room singers. studio because I mean, like, I feel like I got to be on the couch with a with a blanket with all the dogs. I mean, yeah, sounds exciting. Sounds exciting. Um, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Okay, one last thing. One last thing. One last thing, if I may. Clayton Tune round five. Tune Jeez. Oh, okay. Where we're done. Thank you for listening. We'll leave it in. We leave it all in, baby. Thank you guys for listening and hang out with us. Football and other effort. Stack in the inbox. Sobros Network. Stony Keeley. PaulKarski.com. Mike Herndon. Braden Gall. 440 Sports. Sinkers Beverages, everybody. Thank you all for listening. Go Titans.